What's up guys, it's Lammergeier here on Meep Studios, and um, so, the genre of mod reviews is not as saturated as it used to be, so I figured, you know, why not do a mod review? It's, I mean, it's it's pretty fun, and you get to play with mods, which is also fun. Anyways, the mod we're checking out today is the Upgrade Aquatic, which just improves the Update Aquatic. It's made by the people at MC Abnormals, which, great modding team, they make really great mods. Um, and I have a few other mods installed, mostly to show you the Compat, but also just because it's simpler. Let's get right into the showcase. So the first feature we have is the new fish. Um, the first one is the pike. Uh, that looked pretty cool. So there's two variants, as you can see, the green and the brown. They spawn near Pickler Reed, which generates in rivers, of course. I mean, it's like a freshwater plant. So if we get the salmon spawn egg and this piece of glass, so that we can place it, of course. Um, anyways, if we put the salmon in, you will notice that the salmon is not going to survive. Yeah. Uh, dead salmon. You can see it right there. <laughs> it's not alive. Anyways, moving on. Um, the pipe can be cooked to make a really good food source. has much hunger and steak, but a little more saturation, so it's quite useful. Uh, next thing we got here is the pickler weed, which can be boiled into boiled pickler weed. It gives you a little bit of hunger, but the main thing is that if you're underwater, it gives you some extra bubbles. The next mob we're going to be checking out is the jellyfish, which, um, I mean, they look pretty sick. They come in all these different colors and they have some really nice animations. But the main use for them is the jelly torches, a new underwater light source. What you're going to need is a prismarine rod, and I've, yeah, since I'm breaking glass, I need another one. So. They are poisonous, which means they are pretty dangerous. So you're gonna want to be careful when you get your jelly stick thing. And yeah, so as you can see, when you right-click them, you get a jelly torch. And I got the blue color, but they come in all different colors. And the jelly torches, they look great. Uh, they're an underwater light source. They just generally, they look pretty cool. They also come in all the different colors it could ever ask for. Next thing is the lionfish, which, trust me, do not want to also poisonous, they will attack you, give you some pretty serious poison. I'm going to show you what eating a raw one will actually do to you. It's pretty dangerous. You know, it's not even going to restore that much, so I don't know why you would ever choose to do this, but uh, if you did, this is what would happen. Nausea 3 and Poison 4 for a pretty severe length of time, so just you do not want to be doing this. Just trust me. Thankfully, poison doesn't actually kill you, so we don't have to go back to the beginning here. Um, but I'm just gonna wait for it to wear off. It'll wear off soon. But yeah, like I said, very dangerous. Don't do it. Don't you do it. I got some steak here, so I can heal up once it's off. Um, of course, there's also the new buckets we have. I just had that here to fill up the thing. Uh, the squid bucket is new, and of course the jellyfish, lionfish, pike, and nautilus buckets. So moving on. There are three new hostile mobs with the upgrade aquatic. First one we have is Charlie and ah, oh, damn it, the respawning glitches. Anyways, just just know that there is this is supposed to be one, okay? Um, but this is the Thrasher. They're dangerous and they're found below Y30 in colder frozen oceans. So pretty much in the underwater ravines. Um, they will grab onto you. They locate you, since they're blind, they locate you using sonar waves. So if the sonar waves, they'll like, shut them out, you'll see them, and if they hit you, then they notice you. And they'll start coming to attack you. Which is pretty dangerous. Because they grab onto you, and they don't let go unless you stun them by dealing a bunch of damage. And as there is with the, um, Guardian and Elder Guardian, there's the Thrasher. The Great Thrasher. Or Pendleton here. More dangerous, but they're only in the frozen oceans, so they're a little rare. Um, when both of these die, they'll drop Thrasher Teeth, which, when combined with Prismarine Rods in this recipe, will make the Trident. Next up is the Flare. They're an artificial creation, um, and they attack anyone without the new Insomnia effect. Phantoms, on the other hand, attack anyone who has the Insomnia effect. How do you make one of these, you ask, since they're an artificial creation? Well, you're gonna get a Potion of Insomnia and splash a Phantom with it. Bam, they're a flare now. Get a restfulness, 
bam, they're a phantom again. So it's pretty simple. They make good sentries since they attack anything without the insomnia effect, but unless you want to deal with them, you're going to have to drink insomnia before entering your home. Next up, we have bedrolls, which are all sort of accompanying the phantom changes with the mod. Um, they're made with leather, and they skip the night, but don't set your spawn, so they're quite useful if you're exploring. Uh, you've got, of course, the default leathery color, but then you can dye them to the, all these other colors. Next up, we have a bunch of new plants. First one is beach grass. It can be made into thatch. It's found on the beach. There's a short version and a tall version. And here's the thatch. It looks really great. It has a stair slab and even vertical slab if you're using cork. Um, and there's the sea rockets, too. Which, um, I think these are found on cold beaches, and these are found on warm beaches. The pink and the white, respectively. Um, there you obviously grow them on sand. Um, and if you're using buzzer bees, you can actually make them into candles that give you water breathing if you're pretty near. But you have to be pretty near, because, uh, go a little too far, bam, gone. Next up, well, you might be wondering what this new wood you're seeing here is. This is river wood, and it looks kind of like spruce. Uh, you can see we have all the variants, and here's what the tree looks like, the wood, the logs, I'll explain those later. Oh, we have all the, we have the log, the stripped variant, the wood, the ladder if you're using quark, bookshelf if you're using quark, stair slab, vertical slab if you're using quark, vertical planks if you're using quark, button, door, chest if you're using quark, uh, boat, and hive if you're using buzzer bees. Um, and the leaf carpet. I'm not sure what mod that's for but it's some sort of compat, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and the pressure plate. Like they really did all the variants here. Next up, we have the mulberries. They grow on river leaves, and they're slightly better than sweet berries. And you get a nice advancement, low-hanging fruit, as you can see. Pick mulberries from a river tree. And they can actually do quite a few things. So first thing you can do is you can make mulberry jam with sugar and a mulberry in a bottle. You can craft that with bread to make mulberry jam bread here. Here's the mulberry jam. Um. And if you get four mulberry jam in a 2x2, you can make a mulberry jam block. It looks like this, and you can walk through them sort of like cobwebs, but they also work like slime blocks, so I'm sure you could do some interesting things with this. Um, next up, we have driftwood, which is what I'm making these signs out of. Uh, it found, you're found, found in the ocean in shapes that look sort of like this one. I mean, they're obviously random. But you got, of course, all the same things. The log, strip log wood, ladder, bookshelf, slab, stair, pressure plate, vertical planks, button, vertical slab, door, chest, hive, trap door, all that good stuff. I don't even have the fences right here. Um, and this isn't even all the variants. There's still more fences, fence gates, all that stuff. Um, and next up, the next front station, we're gonna have to go underwater. So, let's go down. It adds a full rainbow of corals, including the new prismarine coral, which you find in ravines, possibly near thrashers if you're in the right biome. But yeah, there's all the other colors that weren't in the update aquatic, which is just really cool. You have, like, you have the, obviously the prismarine, and then there's also, there's the gray, and purple, and white, and brown, and black, and light blue, and dark green, and lime, and orange, and cyan. There's so many colors. And, um, there's this new block, Coral Stone, which you can actually use it to make coral sort of renewable. It's kind of a, it's sort of a nice system, just so you can make it renewable. And it comes in a normal variant slab, wall, uh, vertical slab for quark, stair, and a chisel variant, which has this nice little trident pattern, it looks pretty cool. And then there's all the corals, which you imbue it with, including the dead, and for when prismarine coral is dying, it's elder prismarine coral, so it's sort of like the elder guardian. But there's the den variant, and there's all these variants, and of course you can put all those corals on each of these. Um, you may notice on the floor there's also a new lock, but we'll get to that later. Actually, right now. Um, so now you can make kelp blocks, which are different from dried kelp blocks, because they're not dried, obviously. And there are four new variants of kelp. They're not actually generating in the world, so you can only obtain them in creative mode. And I'm sure by the time they're done, these three will also have animations. But we have the polar kelp, which is sort of a bluish green, the ochre kelp, which is sort of a yellowish green, the thorny kelp, which is a brown, and the tongue kelp, which is a red. And I'm wondering if these will all have unique properties. But now there are the kelpy blocks. And you can make the normal one in survival by combining a kelp with a cobblestone or stone brick. Um, but obviously all these are only attainable in creative. 
since you can't get these in anywhere but creative. Um, as you can see, they come in the slab variant as well. And the stairs, and the wall, and all that good stuff. And for the cobblestones, too. So it's just, there, like, it's really complete. Like, they don't miss out on anything. Now for some of the more miscellaneous features, the tooth blocks. And you're gonna need a lot of tooths if you wanna make these in big scale. Uh, cause they come in the bricks, which you make by surrounding a tooth with stone bricks. Um, the tiles, which you make by surrounding a tooth with smooth stone. The, you've got the lanterns, which you make by by putting two tooths in front of a um, prismarine crystal. As well as the normal one, which you just do three by three of all tooths. There's also a chisel variant, and a door and a trapdoor, which are interesting because they have like a pulse. See, if I open this, it automatically closes. Same with the trapdoor. So that's pretty cool. Next up, we have the Elder Guardian Spine and the Guardian Spine, which are drops from the Guardian Elder Guardian, of course. And they are some really cool traps, because when they're powered, they do that. Yeah. And so, uh, if you're hitting them, it damages you. And gives, and you have to walk through them, too. The Elder Guardian one also gives you a little bit of mining fatigue. Next up, we've got the bundles. So, there's first the Pickler Weed and Bulb Pickler Weed Bundle, just a 3x3. Um, and you have the Prismarine Rod Bundle, once again, 3x3. Elder Guardian Eye, I'm not sure if it's actually dropped yet, and it doesn't seem to have any crafting uses yet, so it's kind of just a trophy item. I actually don't know if you can obtain it in survival. Um, so that's pretty much it for the mod, and as you can see, there are still some in-dev features, and they're currently working on it. There is a 1.16 beta. If you join the Discord, get the testing role from the hashtag rules and info channel. Uh, you probably don't want to hear all that, but, um, yeah, so it's heavily so in-dev, and there's much more really cool features coming, and I'm really excited to see what the future of this mod holds. For the intro, I'm going to be showing you what the Great Thrasher fight is like. Hey, it's me, Lamberger. Uh, thanks for watching to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you didn't, drop a dislike. That's what it's for. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. If you like to see more of these, then uh, tell your friends, because if this gets more views than our usual videos, which I think it will since I'm selflessly promoting it in a Discord, then um, yeah, I'll make more of these. And if you like them, then yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye.